Double check the way you performed your test. And Henning hoping his knee. Uh, saw him earlier in the dressing room. He said he was ready to go. He's taking on Rose tonight. Rip Oliver and Rocky Johnson. Well, they're getting into it a little bit. A little gamesmanship going on before the wrestling starts. Still intact, the original Army, Rip Oliver, Buddy Rose. Did you hear that, Dave Schultz? The Army, the original Army. Now, when you come up here, he doesn't say the Army, the original Army. He just says Dr. D from Tennessee. That's all you are. Let me tell you something. Schultz, I will say some good things about you. You are a top wrestler. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. You are a man that defeats your opponents. You're a man that can hurt your opponents. I'll give you that. And I'm the same type of wrestler. Oliver's the same type. But we're making an offer. If you'd like to come and join us, fine. If you want to go against us, fine. But if you don't join us, then we're just going to have to beat the blank out of you because that's the way we are. We don't take nothing from nobody. That included every single wrestler that ever turned on me in the last seven years. And the list is a long one. I don't have enough time to go over it. But Matt Bourne was the last to find out what it is to turn on Buddy Rose. I am in shape. You people say whale on the beach. I got an announcement to make. This is a scale I got, and it's right to the exact pound, and I'm going to get on it right now. And I want Barnabas, you tell me... What does that say? 240, 249. Right. 249. I was 269.8 eight weeks ago. I've lost 20 pounds. And that's the only thing I've lost in my life. But I've gained a lot of money. I've gained a lot of women. I've gained a lot of prestige. And I've gained a lot of power. And the power is taking care of wrestlers and running them out and rip. Is that the truth or what? Well, that's the truth. And uh, all you got to do is listen to the fans, baby. Get a good look at that. I walk back from the ring, they say Rose and Oliver is too hot to handle. Schultz, if you want to join the Army, it's money in the bank, brother. If you don't want to join it, it's going to be a lot of broke arms. It's going to be a lot of broke legs. So best thing you can do, boy, is come our way. All right, let's get something else straight. Last week, this is what exactly happened. Schultz was wrestling in that tag match. They were going for the tag team championship. Hack Sawyer came off with that Luthez crossbody block. He always wins with it. And he had Schultz beat, one, two, three. And I saved you, Schultz, from getting beat. I saved your rear end. And then you get hot at me for coming out and telling me that I turned on you. Well, let me tell you something, Schultz. Hack Sawyer had you beat. Uh, he beat Ric Flair fall, right, when he was here. I beat Ric Flair fall. Rocky Johnson wrestled him four times and didn't even beat him once. Is that true? So you tell me, Schultz, I haven't heard any background of yours except... I know you're a top man, and you've heard a lot of people, but you've come here, and this is the ultimate. If you can prove yourself here, which I think you can, you can come with us. But if you can't, and you disagree with me, then I'm going to have to put this right between those eyes of yours. Right between it, and rearrange that face of yours, and show you what it means to turn down Buddy Rose. Now, you stay with me, you make big money, and you live good. You don't stay with me, you don't make as much money, you get the losing paycheck, and you get hurt, right, Rick? That's right. Let me also say one more thing. Rocky Johnson and Hack Sawyer have the tag team belts. They did have the tag team belts. Rose and I, last night, the first time we had a title match with them, we beat them, Elton no one's held the belts up. So, the belts are held up. First time back together, baby, you can't beat it. Can't beat right. the tag team right here. This tag team will stay together. There's an opening for another member in the Army. If there's a man that thinks he's big enough and tough enough to get with us and stay with us, and that includes anybody out there, if you're big enough and strong enough, I'll take you in the ring and I'll find out if you got it. And if you do, fine. Otherwise, now, last thing, Kurt Henning, you're back in action. I'm going after your leg, and I'm going to hurt your leg, and I'm going to put you back out of action. There's one other thing missing. There's a, there's a big belt missing that's supposed to be on this shoulder that will be back here very shortly. I'll have one on both shoulders again. That's the Army. We're going to be right back. First, we're going to take this time out and hear from Tom Peters. Well, he weighs 249 by the scale he brought up anyway. Crowd's still after him with uh, 
ladies and gentlemen, the next event be the best two out of three falls or to a TV time limit. Now, Buddy Rose has claimed that it was Kurt Henning's father that got him run out of the country, and uh, or it was Kurt Henning that refereed one night, which caused him to lose the world championship. And he's been trying to get this Kurt in here all the time. Now, I tried to talk Kurt out of getting in the ring tonight because he's just getting over his badly torn knee and he claims that he's ready to go but I was trying to hold him off for another week but he refused so we're going to let him go ahead and use him judgment. So introducing in this corner 249 pounds from Las Vegas Playboy Buddy Rose. His opponent in this corner 235 pounds from Minnesota Kurt Henney. Buddy Rose yelling, I'm going after the leg, Vonema. I'm trying to remember which knee it was that he hurt, and I think it was his left one. Luke Brown, now Rose with some more talking. People are going to see somebody get hurt today. Threatening injury. Canning seems to have some bandage as well as the knee pads on both knees. A little bandaging underneath the knees. Probably. See if Rose is going after the left leg. I, mean, I would think Rose remembers. I don't. I'll tell you the truth. I do not remember which knee it is that's hurt. It seems to me that it was the left, and that seems to be what Rose is going after, and Rose seldom misses a bet. Nothing else but to go to the leg. There it is. Gets a kick on it. Got a kick on it, but had to take a kick. From Kurt Hennig, Larry Hennig's son. Larry the Axe. One of the leading wrestlers for a number of years in, our, in the country. They lock up. And top wrist lock. And a reversal to a hammer lock, but reversed right back at him. Buddy Rose caught in the hole by Hennig. Trip take down. He's got a hold of the right foot. Cartwheels around. Hennig nails him with a kick. He's going to work on the left leg. Ah, uh, Buddy Rose. Little tip for that here. Got him spread eagle, Rose laying back, catches a count of two. He's got him spread eagle and working on an outside toe hold. Rose gets a count of two. As he's laying back, trying to alleviate that leverage. And the hamstrings getting stretched out. Buddy Rose, the one. 
Getting the punishment. This is the best two out of three, four match. And Rose has made it to the ropes. And Henning is going to clear him off of those ropes with a little help from the referee. Spinning to hold. Inside to hold now on the left leg. He's working on Rose's left leg. Rose had come out threatening. I'm going to hurt Henning. I'm going to work on his left leg. Spinning to hold again by Curtis Henning. H-E-N-N-I-G. And he kicked off. Rose coming back. It's caught immediately by the left leg again. And he's trying to punch his way out of it, but he can't reach his man. Working the toe hold. He's going to spread eagle and working the toe hold on the left foot. The hamstring muscle is pushed out. A lot of pressure on the knee and nearly a count of three again. Following this main event, our second main event of the evening. Dr. D against Tack Sawyer. Rose trying to talk about something, but uh, Luke Brown, the referee, looks around. There's not much unusual uh, going on. trouble Rose trying to get to the ropes Hennig working on the left leg of Buddy Rose oh it's just barely Fingertips on the ropes. The referee saying that won't do. Now he has him flat spread eagle. Spread eagle. Oh, those legs have got to be hurting the hamstrings, particularly pressure also on the knee on both legs, but particularly the left leg of Playboy Buddy Rose. Henny Grant back to it again. to shove the foot of Buddy Rose in Buddy Rose's mouth. Came near doing it. And Henning, the one working on Rose. Rose during all the threatening how he was going to come out and work on Henning's leg. Things are not going to Playboy's way at all. Oh, he's got him astride. The middle ropes and the turnbuckle knee 
knee lifts to the hamstring. He used the right knee to put it into it, so I'm sure that Henning's left leg is the one that's hurting. Tall Hall being worked on again. Henning doing the work on Rose. Kicks again. He's using the right foot to lay him in. Kicks into the hamstring. And Buddy Rose is going to be hurting as much as Henning is. If this can, keeps up. Double knee drop. Working on the left lane. You got Buddy Rose, Kurt Henning. Kurt Henning. Fred Eagling working the outside to a hold. Grinding down on it. And I think he's going to try to shove the foot in his face. Let's watch it. He is trying to shove the foot in Rose's mouth. Came awful close to doing it. Henny had caught in the eyes. Vision kind of obscured, trying to get it back. After Rose, and watch out. He got caught. Henny. Being hit on the left leg again. The left knee particularly, and that's what the Playboy's working on. He's been suffering at the hands of Henning most of this round. And now he's coming back. Still not much mobility on the left leg. Comes with a kick again. Kurt's left leg is hurting, and Rose is working on it. The Playboy. Step over. Step over to hold and coming forward with it. All the pressure's on the knee with this one. Buddy Rose. Working on the left leg, Kurt Henning. And he says he's going to eat his foot. He's going to reverse it. Henning got out of it the same way Rose did a couple minutes ago. Put the fingers in the eyes. drop. He got a little bit of his own left leg when he did it. Leg lock. Topped with a toe hold. Rose working it on Hennig. Working that knee that's been injured. Down on saying before uh, the introductions announcing it in the ring that he wanted Hennig to wait another week. Kirk anxious to get in the ring for this match, so they let it go. Kurt with a chin lock on Rose, trying to pull him off the hold. Rose able to get out of the hold and get back to his own. Toe hold on Hitting.
Working the left leg. Buddy Rose on Henning. Henning started out working it on Rose. And Rose still not as mobile as he'd like to be. Rose now dropped. See if Henning can follow it up. Henning gets a kick on it, but he's still hurting. Got a couple one-legged men going at each other nearly right now. Rose back with a kick to the knee. Rose having trouble moving around. His left leg is hurting from the punishment that it's taken. Eight minutes remaining. Eight minutes. Well, I hope we get all our breaks and we got eight more minutes is all and we're in first fall action. We did have an extra preliminary bout. And he's outside the ring working on it. Around the ring post, the left knee wrapped around the ring post from outside. Buddy Rose promising he was going back to hurting people and he was starting here with Hennig. And right there has had to do some damage. Turns him over with a half crab. It's a half Boston crab. All the pressures on the left knee. And Henning is giving it up. Henning is giving it up. The first ball goes to Buddy Rose. We will be back in a moment with more. Right now, one of the people makes our show possible. Talking about Marv talking Ford. It's become a thorn in Buddy Rose's side. Dr. D from Tennessee. I heard about the boy coming out here getting on the scales. How much you say he weighed? 249. 249 pounds. That ain't bad, Rose. If you're three feet tall like you are, if you're six five, six six like I am, baby. Now, you talking about slim, trim, mean machine, me, baby. And that's what I am. And I done told you to stay out of my way, leave me alone, and it don't seem like you're gonna do it. But you're gonna do it one way or the other, boy, because I'm gonna tell you, ain't nobody with you no more. Ain't nobody on your side. Don't trust nobody, baby. Don't trust Rip Oliver. Don't trust Mike Miller. Don't trust Dizzy Hogan, I'm telling you. And don't trust nobody. But I have got a place for you, Rose, like I said. I got a place down here where you shine my shoes. You just keep coming out here. You keep running in your mouth. You keep telling everybody what you're going to do and everything you did about everybody you done run out. Well, baby, I'm here to stay, and you ain't running me nowhere, and I want to make that clear. I want to make it perfectly clear. And all you rednecks out there watching, baby, when you come out, you're grabbing at the doctor and stuff, wanting the doctor to talk to you. Well, I ain't got time for you. I don't need you. You people leave me alone. Back off of me because I don't want none of you. And I ain't taking none of you because I don't like none of you. And I ain't got to like you, and I won't like you. And like I said, Frank, you're cool, baby. And it's been a pleasure for me to rap with you. But Warren Rose, baby, tell him to leave me alone. Get out of my way. I don't need you. That's the doctor, Dave Schultz. Oh, it is not kids' night. It is wrestlers' night. Watch out, Buddy Rose. Trying to blindside. Get a little advantage there on Kurt Hedick. He was unable to do so. Luke Brown is the referee. An extra preliminary match, so there's just four minutes left of wrestling here with uh, he only in the second round. And some matches earlier go quite a while. And striking first, it's Kurt Henning going to work on the knee of the playboy. Buddy Rose. And Rose got a kick in and a headbutt on the left leg of Henning. Henning had to give it up. He was caught in a half crab. And had to submit for the second ball. 
first fall check that we are in the second fall and it looks like Rose is going to get working on it first. Aim in the elbow and dropping it. Whoa, he missed the set up. Seat drop. But Hennig cannot even get to his feet, even though he got away from that move. And Rose working the leg up in the ropes. Referee calling in, calling him off it. And Hennig is in a lot of trouble. Hennig, I don't think he can do anything at all with that left leg. They're not sure. They thought kneecap out of place, torn ligaments, possibly. He pretty well wrapped it up, put a brace on it, and has been keeping it like that, but thought he was ready. He trips Rose, and Rose got to catch the same treatment that he gave Henning. The leg four times wrapped around the steel ring post. Now he's got it a figure four leg lock around that ring post. Henning is being counted on out there. He's going to be DQ'd, but he's getting his damage in. The match will go to Rose, two straight falls. And Henning doesn't want to stop it. Henning has gone wild, working on the left leg. A bell is ringing. And Henning knocks the referee aside. Luke Brown finally gets moved in between them. And Rose, well, Rose is the one who will be carried out. And he will have his hand raised in victory. Let's hold it here for just a moment. Rose winning it on a DQ in the second fall. And the leg is hurting. Henning still down there got a shot on it. Henning will not go away. They're working on the leg to the knee. Henning is. Henning having trouble moving himself, but does not want to give up. Luke Brown, the referee. Trying to get him away. Rip Oliver's up for an interview. He's trying to move through the crowd now and down to help Rose. Henning still working at it. And Rose getting some of his own treatment. And Henning finally warned off it. We'll be back in a moment. We got to hear from Tom Peterson and then we'll return. A little different since the Army was last up here. Next Saturday is Kids Night. All you people here in the arena will want to know that. Kids Night, Kids in Free next Saturday. And Rip Oliver defending his belt against Rocky Johnson. Yeah, hold on just a minute here, Frank Bonham. And Rocky Johnson's coming out here running his mouth, saying he's been here for six months and he hasn't got the first title shot yet. How many weeks have I come out here and I had open contracts for anybody that wanted a title shot with this? Now, he coming out here crying, say he finally got his first chance. Well, let me tell you how confident Rocky Johnson is. I give Don Owens four open contracts. That's for Hack Sawyer, Rocky Johnson, Kurt Henning, Tommy Rogers, anybody, any four of them could have signed them four, uh, them four contracts. Rocky Johnson comes in, he signs one. Hack Sawyer come in to get his. Rocky Johnson's got his name signed on all four of the contracts. Now, boy, you talking about you so confident you're going to beat me next Saturday night. Why did you sign all four contracts? But next Saturday night, you better do your best, Johnson, because I may not give you another one. You may not never get another shot. And any time I put my title on the line, I don't like to put it on the line when the kids are getting in free. That's something I don't like either. When I put my belt on the line, I'm the champion. The kids should have to pay just like anybody else because I get my money either way. But I think they should have to pay any time they see me. Buddy Rose. All I know is, Kurt Hennig, it's over. It's done. It's... Oh, no. Henning is coming up the stairway. And Henning is walking, and Rose is having trouble. Strike only wants 15 seconds at a time. 
This man tried to cripple me. Everybody saw I could have crippled you if the bell wouldn't ring. I got disqualified. That's okay, Rose. I just talked to Don Owen. Don Owen gave me next week no disqualification. And watch out and hope to God you don't get crippled. All right. Oliver's going to keep his title against Johnson. And I'm going to hurt you because they said no DQ. It's either my leg or your leg next week. And it sure as heck ain't gonna be mine, cause I never quit. Did you hear me, Dr. D? Okay, I think he said it pretty much. It's gonna be leg against leg, Henning and uh, Buddy Rose, and maybe this one at least is gonna get settled one way or the other. We've had so many that took so darn long to get taken care of. Henning seems to have it set in his mind that he wants to get this one taken care of and he wants to get it taken care of right now and that is the worst punishment that i've seen rose take in a long long time so we're going to have those two matches topping an all-star card next saturday at the portland sports arena i hope that you will join us remember it is kids night next saturday out here at the portland sports arena a lot of things going on fourth of july weekend hope that you'll just work us into the plan or sometime during this week you can out Centralia, Seaside on Monday, Eugene, Salem, wherever, okay? So long, everybody. And that's why I'm famous for my salad. Today's Safeway, where top customers like you get a little bit more. KOIN-TV, Port. Is the star of Bass Fever, Denny Terrio with...